gonna get everybody in here. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us back. Um, down Diana's Real Talk at Genesis Radio Station in Stroudburg, Pennsylvania. And I just, uh, during the break, we were talking about uh, the comments that were coming in, and I thought it was really interesting because the comments that did come in were um, were very uh, strong. Yeah, let's go, let's go. And that's exactly what the point is. We want you guys to give us your opinions. We want to hear from you. This is what this show is about. I don't feel that your opinion is wrong. Mm -hmm. I may not agree with your perspective, but um, I appreciate it. Eddie Manthe, you, you know, you had a very strong opinion. Um, Jimmy Anthony, you, you agreed with him. So, I mean, listen, if anything that we say on the show is... Um, what, hold on, what's, what's his name again? I think his name is Eddie Manthe. Eddie Manthe, you're that guy. Oh. Don't get it twisted, bruh. You're that guy. It's no double standard. It is what it is. And what do we a say? A hoe is just a hoe, and that's without the controversy. And what do we say? Case closed. Mm. What do we say? <laughs> Don't, Don't be, be that, that guy. guy. <laughs> that's my crew, and I, you know, I have to back them up. And, and again, that's their opinion, and and um, and that's what it is. And you know, as I said, feel free to call in eight 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 three zero four 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 zero one. If you have something to say, it's not a problem. Just We're look. here. Lisa has got my back today. She's my co-anchor in all of this. And um, as I said... And she carries a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lisa, oh, wow. Lisa, Lisa Scott is uh, amazing. And thank you so much for coming, Lisa. Thank you. We're going to... Um, I'm going to address some of the things that were said, and then I want to go into Lisa Scott. Some of the things that were said um, about Amber Rose um, as far as does she embody women's empowerment. Can you move it just a little bit? Sure. Thank you. Because I don't want to keep pushing into Lisa. Um, uh, does she embody women empowerment? For me, you know, and, and I, I think Lisa said it the best, she has a message. That's her message. Um, we don't necessarily have to agree with it, but that's her way of empowering whoever, whoever takes on to that, that message. Me personally, I don't feel that Amber Rose needs to be laid out on the street, on the, on a sidewalk showing her personal stuff. I don't think that's a way of um, empowering our young girls today. I feel that you should love your body. I feel that you should embrace your body any way it is any shape it is. I don't feel that we as women should allow society, men, other women to decide what is beautiful and not as beautiful. I feel that, you know, we as women need to take the responsibility to allow ourselves to love ourselves and take the time to do it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of time. But I feel that you have to do that in order to start appreciating who you are as a human being, who you are as a woman, period. Now, there's no, there's obvi obviously there's we can't do Michelle Obama versus Amber Rose. Michelle no Obama is the bomb. Like she's it. She is the embodiment of grace, power, class. Um, and I and I love you, Michelle Obama. And if anybody gets this recording to Amber Rose, uh, I know a lot of my social media folks are in the entertainment business. I want you She's to actually my friend on Facebook. invite her invite her to the show because I'd like to know her opinion. She's swimming in my pool. She's swung. Has Terry, swung Terry, in my Terry pool. has a, an issue with, with her, and I love it. She and, cool? <laughs> she cool? I ain't got no issue with her. She cool? But I just this joker, Eddie. This uh, Eddie, guy. Eddie, call us. Eddie, call us. Eight 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 three zero four 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 zero one. Um, again, as far as I'm concerned, she, you know Amber Rose can never empower me. Um, as a woman, uh, we stand for two different things, um, but I do believe in her walk that we shouldn't allow people to shame us as women and how we're supposed to talk, walk, look, and and behave. Mm -hmm. That's that's all I'm saying. That's mm -hmm. that's my opinion on mm -hmm. it. Um, you know, my opinion on you know what the average dude is. It pissed some people off. Again, if you got pissed off, I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize. That is my stance on it, and that's Let what it's it going to be. We don't apologize on this show. Right. Yeah. We don't apologize on this show. Well, <laughs> well the thing with we this... We got your back. The thing, with this, show, the thing with this show right, is OG? that well, we have the you? right... Oh, yeah, I have my goons with me. Right? <laughs> I have a white one. We have, I have the right to change my mind. <laughs> I have the right to change my opinion. So with that being said, I'm an educator. I'm a women's empowerment specialist. I'm a feminist. I'm, I'm a bunch of things. A mindset coach. But I'm also a learner. I'm constantly learning. And that's why we have Lisa Scott in the house, somebody who has some sense, who is on the show. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I know a lot of you, again, have your opinions, but um, I'm going to go Tell into me. why Lisa Scott is here and how <laughs> she got here. Um, we're going to shift the, the, the last segment of the show around. Um, again, my specialty is mindset, my, as a mindset coach. Eddie. We have a call, and I think it's Eddie calling in. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. Dan is real talk. Hello? Are you there? We hung up on Eddie. Call back, Eddie. <laughs> Nobody's scared of you. Yeah, like Bernie said, I ain't scared of you, mom, mom. <laughs> Oh, man. It's on and popping. You didn't know it was going to be like this, Come right? On, hey. I, I, had to, I had to trick Lisa I, 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 to get here. I, I, okay, I'm, 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 I'm be good. I'm, I'm, okay. Let's be good. I'm sorry. Wow. Let's be good. Sorry. Let's be good. Let's, Let's bring it in. Let's all bring it in. Bring it in. Woo, Come on, everybody. Just tell Eddie to get out of his feelings. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Eddie Mancy, thank you for trying to call in. We know you have a fierce opinion about what my partner. Uh, Terry say said say nothing. about double standards, etc. And um, there are double standards, and that's just the kind of world we live in. It is what it is. Um, we just, as human race, need to um, learn how to control the judgment part of being double sided and things like that. Mm. So, anyway, that's Lisa big, Scott yeah. is in, in is the building. Um, I think. I don't know. You can have this one. Take the Thank one. you. I Lisa Scott it. is in the building, and <laughs> we love Lisa Scott. Thank you so Thank much for you. coming here. Thank you. Dro everybody. Drove two hours to be here. Two and a half. Two and a half hours. <laughs> Almost got into a car accident. But while we're here mm -hmm. as mindset coach uh, folks, mm -hmm. um, the reason why we met through social media, we and this was uh, two years ago. About two years ago, maybe I, longer. Yeah, I had a a platform called Blab. It, um, or no, I'm sorry, the platform was Blab. The project I was doing was called the Y Project, and I just started that project to. Um, I wanted to understand where people were coming from in terms of the businesses that they were uh, working on. Right. You know, what was your passion? What made you? You know, what was it about what you were doing that wakes you up and empowers you to continue to do this? Because you know, in uh, our creating our own businesses, in our, uh, you know, deciding we're going to jump out here and do something that we love and that we're passionate about, mm -hmm. you know, what is it about that that keeps you going? Agreed. So Knowing I, how fearful it can be. Yes. Right? So I said, I wonder why. You know, why are you doing this? So I, I created a project called the Why Project. And, uh, you know, real quick, I'll just stop and say to anyone who is out there who is interested in starting your own business in in doing anything that you uh, are, you know, your heart is telling you to do something. You need to jump out there and do it because, do it. you know, there's always fear. There's always a whole bunch of unknowns. There's all kind of stuff that comes with this. But you need to jump out there and do it because until you do, you will not be happy. You will not be satisfied. You will not be fulfilled because you have to do what your heart's telling you to do. Agreed. So that's that's how we met. That's how I we saw met. Miss Diana on Facebook. I saw her doing her thing. You know, as I saw, you know, so many different wonderful people, men and women, um, you know, uh, working on different projects and doing all kinds of stuff. And I just had to have Diana on. <laughs> and oh my goodness, that we hit it off like it immediately. Was yeah. You know, the was energy like, my was soul just sister. like, you right. know. And I see another one of my sisters. Her name's Alicia Dunn. Hi, Alicia. Alicia. Another person I met on Facebook. And I'll just stop and say that real quick. The power <sighs> of social media oh is my God. incredible. Amazing. Here I am, you know, however many years later, drove two and a half hours <laughs> from Southeast New. Jersey and I'm sitting here you know you can't write this stuff in a book you, you cannot it write exists. it you, it's cannot, real. you know what I mean it, it, it's just what it is it, it <laughs> is what it is and I'm super excited because it, it for me to share the platform with you and knowing that you and I have such similar ways of, of approaching mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. mentally yes you know yes. while we may have different methodologies yes I the mindset approach that we take I'm wowed by the way you think and the way you approach certain oh, situations you. and you know when she was it. saying Lisa was saying anybody who um, is entrepreneurs out there or people even people who have regular nine to fives at your desks it all starts with mindset exactly right it all starts right with mindset. and there were a couple of things that I asked Lisa and I said Lisa well what are your top three things 
that you um, are really in love with, the mm -hmm. things that you like to talk about, the mm -hmm. things that you know you're most effective. Mm -hmm. One of them was, you, you go ahead, take the platform. Well, one of them was talking about, uh, I think it was change. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I think about that word, and I think about, uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, when I think about the yeah, word. Yeah, Dan is real talk with Lisa oh, Scott. Awesome. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry about that. I must be hanging up on everybody. Sorry. So Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. We'll get you back. <laughs> call, call us back, please. Um, <laughs> you know, when it, just piggybacking off of what I just said about, you know, just jumping out, starting a business, doing whatever it is that you want to do, that does require change, some level of change. And, um, you know, when I think about that, a lot of times people are perceiving that when you go to make a decision, it was about making a decision. Making a decision. It was about That's making was. a decision. Because in making a decision, people are perceiving that you have to have all the answers. Like right then and there, when you're getting ready to go down a different path, if you're getting ready to do something differently, new, if you're different. getting ready to do something new, um, people are perceiving that they already have to have the answers to the who, what, when, where, how, and why of what it is that they're about to do. Exactly. And, um, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Down is real talk with Lisa Scott. They're not getting through. Okay. It's, yeah, something it's is. On end. It's on their end? Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Lisa, I see that you're trying to call. I think it's somebody named Lisa. I um, thought it was Serena. Or Serena, rather. Please try calling us back, 888-304-4401. And, and there's Giovanna who had a comment that I couldn't find. Giovanna uh, Jackson. If you want to call in, Giovanna, 888-304-4401. <laughs> Thank you, Giovanna. Yeah, we saw you had a comment on the last video, but I can't find the video on my page. So, But her comment says, the power of positive women joining together is amazing. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. You know, it is amazing. So, but going back to what you said, because I'm actually going to take notes myself. Yes, so I was uh, thinking about decision and the fact that we, when you make a decision, you do not have to have all the answers. You do not have to have all the answers. All you need to do is put your 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 first make your first step right. and it's because of the fact that human beings um we are very um caught in our ways we're stuck in our ways in terms of having to know the answer right we have to have the answer we have to be able to control everything we have to be able to control all the outcomes but i say that because the universe is so vast so huge so magnificently vast you're not going to know all the not answers everything. you're not going to know everything yep. so you can have an objective you can have a goal uh but what i'm asking people to do or challenging people to think about is it is the decision all by itself that your body has to get used to Mm. just the decision just the fact that say for instance you don't want to be at your job anymore just you making the decision that you don't want to be there is enough right now. That is enough it's energy. It's enough. That's it. <laughs> Just let your body get used to the fact that you are deciding that you don't want to be there anymore. That's right. Because it's once the body determines or, or understands that you're really feeling something different, that the That's emotion it. kicks in, that everything kicks in to start to move in the direction of what your decision is. Agree. Agreed. So you don't have to have all the answers. So I just wanted to talk about that because it hit me one day. And everything that I say to anybody, I am first, I am the one who is receiving that information first in order to to come out and say something to you about it. Now, right. it doesn't mean you have to agree with what I'm saying, but I just want you to know that, you know, I experienced where I was laying there one day, and that's what happens. I get hit with these revelations, <laughs> like, in the middle of the night or something. And I'm like, oh, that's, so true. that's how that goes. Right. So this isn't about me having to know everything. This is about me just making the decision and getting used to having my body get used to the fact that I made a decision at all. But what we do is jump all the way over here, trying to figure out the who, what, when, where, how, and why. And what happens is because we don't know the answer because we can't control the outcome right. then we get paralyzed exactly. with fear because we didn't get the answer we were looking for when you didn't even need to worry about that right then and there we're just talking about the decision 
This is all we're talking it's, about right that's now. That's where it starts. Just that's a where decision it starts. That's in your mind. Starts. And unfortunately, a lot of people will take that decision where you say, I'm unhappy with this job. I'm unhappy with this relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm unhappy with whatever situation. That thought right there, that thought, that little thought that came to your mind can either push you and elevate you, empower you to take the next step, or it can cripple you. Exactly. It depends, again, on your mindset, your approach to it. Exactly. How are we going to handle this one idea that we have? Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. That's where the why comes in. Exactly. Why do people do what they do? Mm -hmm. And why, what, why do they take the approach they take to mm -hmm. even take that one thought? Exactly. And, and, and solidify it into a, exactly. an actual, right? A, exactly. A work, exactly. Right? And then, you know, miraculously, or because this is how powerful we are, once your your uh, body is in that space of understanding, okay, she's really, she made this decision. Right. Then all of a sudden, you become open to what the next question is, and based on the next question, you get the next answer. That's right. Then you get the next question, then you get the next answer, then you get the next question, but that's because you're open, you know what I mean? You made the decision to begin with. So I just, because I understand how paralyzed we can get all often because we're so every scared because right. we're trying to figure yeah. it all out yeah. and i'm saying stop trying to figure everything out you're gonna you're going to know you are absolutely going to know at some point when you, when when your body when your mind is ready the universe god whatever you want to exactly make you in line with what your thought process is exactly. but you really do need to stop and sit and meditate on it mm -hmm. people feel that you are just supposed to just think about it and go all right, I'm going to do this now. No, <laughs> you have to stop. You have to really think about where this thought lies in your life and how it's, honestly, it's for me, my opinion is, for instance, I, I worked in corporate America for 20 years. Okay. And I decided, you know, in investment banking, that this is just not me, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. The thought. Mm -hmm. First, that First started. First, the thought. The thought came. Where I failed myself was, instead of taking that thought and allowing it to become a concrete positive action, mm -hmm. I allowed myself to become negative okay. of the people around me, mm -hmm. my situation, and I brought that negativity into my home. Okay. Because okay. I decided that I was just going to be unhappy because I'm unhappy in this position. Gotcha. Right? I understand that. Now yes. that I stepped outside of that bubble, I realized how much power I really do have. You were doing everything I did and didn't even realize it at that time. Because you said you made a decision that you were going to stay in that negative because you were unhappy. There you go. You know, so you were making the decision to stay there. I had a similar uh, situation happen. Uh, this was years ago. I was a supervisor for what's called a federally qualified health center. And I was not happy there anymore. The first decision I had to make, because I understand how being upset about something can right. play oh, its goodness. role, um, I said, you know what? I can't exist in this space coming in here every day feeling bad. So it was like, okay, what's the next thing to do? Okay, I'm making the decision that I'm leaving. A chain of events started to happen after that, mm. after I decided I was not only leaving, but I wasn't going to talk about it. I was not going to go to this person and that was, I'm, I'm really ups, unhappy about being here. I'm so darn unhappy about right. being here because I, I watched everybody doing mm, it and it was like to, yes, sitting back watching good. them and watching the momentum of the anger that was going on inside of them caused me to make a conscious decision that I wasn't going to build that momentum. Right, right. And because of that, it was like this um, space and time where I didn't know what was about to happen next. But ultimately, I ended up being able to leave that position and go on to another one where I was making, I was uh, working part time, making full time money. Mm. which is what my mindset was there you go. about leaving there. there so you go. it was like, it, it caused, I had to go inwardly, you know, and mm. this is the thing. And that takes a lot of this control. Is, this oh is the thing, goodness. is this whole inward thing, because we hear that terminology a lot, and people hear people saying, you got to go inward, and it can become cliche-ish in the minds of people who have not practiced that that who exactly. don't understand that absolutely you correct. oh my goodness absolutely if correct. you if you 
turn off the television. <laughs> if you, because we're always receiving signals, we're always getting information on a regular basis, constantly, and I, I don't know the, the, the stats or the data on the amount of you know, bits of information that we're receiving right, every right. day, all day. And plus with social media. With social oh media goodness, added, it's overload. television, it's an overload. job, wife, whatever. Friends, whatever. Um, all of that information is playing its part in our daily existence, mm. in our everyday life. So if you don't find a space to shut that down, you're not going to be able to hear. <laughs> you are not going to be able to hear yourself. You're not going to be able to hear where you're coming from. I agree. You're not going to be able to Ugh. change, you know, your perspective or hear something different because the information is always the same. It, we're always functioning in, the, in this familiar space I, with this information I coming. Agree. And it's like, you know what? You can't be afraid to get quiet. And here's the thing. I, I agree. You were speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that we're all spirits. Like we have, we're spiritual <laughs> Mm -hmm. beings right yes and I believe that when you put yourself in a quiet space mm -hmm. where you can actually stop and think yes with no influence from the outside mm -hmm. world from mm -hmm. social media I really believe your spirit will tap into you Absolutely. and talk to you and nudge you and say okay this is the direction we're gonna go mm -hmm. unfortunately most of us and and a lot of times have you seen <laughs> one of your friends I'm calling. somebody's calling That's in. someone else da Dana's real talk with Lisa Scott Hello. What are we doing wrong? Hello. <laughs> Robert Jennings, is that you? Can you hear me? Um, this is the third call that got dropped. Um, Robert, if you if you can hear, um, give us a call back at 888-304-4401. We apologize. Um, thank you for calling in. But, you know, as I was saying to your point, mm -hmm. Diana's Real Talk with Lisa Scott. They hung up. They hung up. Yeah. Sorry, uh, you know, the calls are, your, your phone is uh, dropping, so we apologize. But we're going to continue to go, we're going to continue to talk. They have to turn talk. their radio down. See, they're trying to listen to themselves <laughs> on the radio. Oh. Diana's Real Talk with Lisa Scott. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hello, <laughs> who's calling? Hello. Hi. That's OG on the phone check. Yeah, this is a, I'm just calling in to the station just to let you know you have a great show. Diana, and um, what's your host name? Lisa. Lisa Scott. <laughs> well. Thank you so much for the compliment. Thank you so much. We appreciate you tuning in. All right. Thank you. Keep on putting out positive messages. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Love that. That was dope. That was so, great. That was great. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you. Dana's Real Talk with Lisa Scott. Hi, this is Joy. Oh, Joy, how are you? I'm so good. It's, I'm so glad you tuned in. How are you? I wasn't sure that I would get through. It was why I was just watching you live. Oh, you were watching us live. Yeah, we're here with Lisa Scott. Oh, so what? Do you have a question? Yeah, I'm here with Lisa Scott. Hi. 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 Hi.
uh, actually, I highly suggest writing. I, I suggest Absolutely. having a notepad with Absolutely. you Get while you sit in a space in your home that's comfortable to you and ask yourself, what do I want? And just start writing. Don't judge anything that you're saying because a lot of times when we're writing, we can start judging, oh, I'm not going to get that. That's not going to be possible. You know, that type of thing. So stay away from judging anything that you're writing. Or feeling but, any shame. No yes, shame. Exactly. Just everything that is coming from your heart, everything that you're hearing from yourself, allow yourself to write that down so that you can begin to process, wow, this is what I really want. And when you're, you're uh, what's going to happen is your energy is going to start to shift and you're going to start to feel more positive on the inside because you're paying attention to what you actually want. Exactly. And that more positive energy is going to assist you to move forward, whatever the next step is, because you're able to, it, it's like giving yourself back the fuel and the energy that you need in order to make the next step. Agreed. Also, Joy, just so you know, um, which is very important, uh, you and I discussed this before, we're going to wrap up in a minute, but um, you know, surround yourself with like-minded people. Surround yourself oh, wow. with people who are positive. Because quite frankly, the people who are around you um, really do have an influence on your thought processes. Either we want to admit it or not. So mm -hmm. that's another thing. As Lisa said, write it down. What I do is I write it down and I throw it away. Because mm. I feel like if it's a negativity, it's going to be a negativity I'm going to write down. It's going right in the mm. garbage. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yes. So that's, a, that's <laughs> another thing we do. Surround yourself with good people. Mm-hmm. Joy, you I got agree. that? Okay, okay. Well, I hope we were able to help you a little bit. A hundred percent. I was glad I was able to call in. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Lisa Scott will be back, everybody. <laughs> she will be back with her husband, Rob. We're oh, gonna yeah. Wrap up. Oh, yeah. Rob will be here with me next time. Lisa, do you have any <laughs> last words you want to say before we wrap up? How can we find you? Okay. We need you guys, if you want a piece of positivity, to follow Lisa Scott on her social media and her projects. What are you working on? How do we reach you? Actually, right now, uh, you can reach me uh, at my website. That's For the most part, that's where I'm at. I'm at www.lisa.com scott.org i also have a, a soundcloud i'll call it a podcast but it's you know short snippets of information where if i get inspired you know with a thought i just record it i upload it to soundcloud and that's at lisa scott 28 i'm also on twitter can't remember my handle there but i'm also <laughs> on linkedin can't remember that handle either but i'm lisa scott and you'll see my picture you'll know it's me <laughs> By the way, I'm going to put Lisa Scott's information on all my social media so we all know how to reach this beautiful woman. Um, thank, thank, you. thank you so much for thank coming. You. I really thank appreciate you. it. That's it was awesome. great. It was great having We're gonna you. We're going to have awesome. Lisa Scott back anyway. So awesome. I promise yeah, you all yeah. that. Thank, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We love you. Again, thank we'll you, Alicia. I saw okay. you. Priscilla. Bye. The TP Square <laughs> showed down the